What's going on, y'all? It's your boy Juggle972 back here, and welcome back to Chrono Trigger. Now, when we last left off, we were in the city of Kajar, and we did some tasks. Not to mention, we also fought off the news and got a little bit of a gift, too. And we have learned that we are in the year 1200. The Dark Ages, or in this, in this game, they call it Antiquity. So, yeah, let's uh, see what's going on over here. Hang on, let me... Uh, let me lower the levels on it just a little bit. Sorry, I got a little too loud. There we go. That should be a little bit better. And uh, don't mind the AC in the back, but that'll always be there. Let's see. And back to this next sky gate. There we go. Here we go again. And we're looking for the city of Kajar. Correction. The, the previous city was in, Hass in Hassel. This is Kajar. This is the magic city of Kajar. We perform research in the, magic of the magical arts to help further her. <clears throat> her majesty's plans to deliver her kingdom to greater glory. Your power differs from ours. It's simple to describe, but it sense a kind of strange kindness. Of course. In ancient times, people crafted wondrous weapons and armor. Shards for a rainbow colored uh, shell called from the sunstone's power. But now only the girl of life knows the art of crafting such things, and even art, if others did, the queen has ordered us to abandon the use of these sun's powers. Definitely. Okay. Well, let's see. Ah, if you remember, fire makes. <clears throat> fire. Uh, what is it? Wind makes fire dance? Water. Wind. And fire. Hell yeah. Huh? Oh, there we go. That's weird. Obtain an unidentified object. Not a UFO. For sure not a UFO. A black gemstone. Or in the original called the black rock. It all began aeons ago when man's ancestors stumbled upon the shard of a strange red rock. The power was beyond human comprehension. It cultivated dreams and gave birth to love and hate. Now I'll tell, I'll tell, I'll tell how it ends. And they forged the Masa Moon with it, too. Hmm. Let's see. Definitely got all these. Okay, we're good here. I have Platinum Armor, too, but Her Majesty's permission. Oh. Kind of like the government in a way, too. Let's see. Whoa! What the hell is that? Okay, let's see. Scarcely knows, scarcely shows his face. Okay. Let's see. We got some stuff here. I heard that Lady Shala's power far surpasses those of her mother. Then there's her brother, young Lord Janice. He's a royal blood as well, but of course, it doesn't seem to be the faintest trace of magical ability. Oh, if you only knew. Oh, that cap's not been completed yet. Too bad, eh? <laughs> Hands one skill. You know what? There's plenty of them. Okay. You should be able to talk to the new, too, but not anymore. A strange prophet, huh? Okay, well, some story development, too. A girl once told me that the sun's power, the sunstone, once held all nearly infinite energy of our sun. Over time, the energy has slowly depleted and turned into a lightless moonstone. A lightless moonstone. Yes, it could. And it will. Water summons wind, wind makes fire dance. Indeed. <clears throat> Alright, let's see what else is going on here. Primitive compared to ours, though, you poor thing. Oh, Jesus. Yeah, kind of a uh, kind of snarky, isn't it, too? the Ocean Palace, the symbol of the Queen's greatness. Probably my favorite place to go to. The Earthbound ones are allowed to work on the construction of the Ocean Palace. It seems that even they have their purpose. The construction of the Ocean Palace has fallen behind schedule, an everlasting palace beneath the waves. It'll be a sight to see when it's finished. So in other words, people who don't have magic are considered Earthbound ones, and quote unquote, the enlightened ones here on the uh, air of the sky. 
See, this right here needs to be an anime. It really does. Okay, I think we've seen everything that we need to see over here. Let's, uh, let us continue. Plus, it's not very often that I have an episode where I can have a little bit of plot development, too. But yes, a prophet has made his way to the Magic Kingdom. And you'll know soon enough who it is. Okay, and let us make our way to the Zeal Palace. This is the Queen's Palace and the center of the Magic Kingdom of Zeal. Which is to say, this is the center of the universe. Kind of sounds like North Korea in a way. <laughs> the source of our energy rests deep below the sea. Once the exact location was determined, we will begin construction of the new Ocean Palace there. The port of the Ocean Palace is in Her Majesty's audience chamber. Mind you, it hasn't been completed yet. Ooh, and there's a new here. What? Well, I don't know what this is, but it says, "Oh, itchy. Could you scratch my back?" Sure. Oh, wonderful. Ooh, right there. Oh, that's always a good back scratch too. Whew, thank you. Discover the new scratching spot. You know what? Till this day, I'll never know what that is. I don't. I don't even know what the, the purpose is for that too. Learn the man machine in the ocean palace, but just between in between you and I. I not place much faith in any answer Her Majesty gave you right now. She's been, quote unquote, different as of late. That's always nice to know. Hey, recognize these two? <laughs> I wonder how the Guru Life's doing. What do you do without him? Humans, I tell you. <laughs> Hold on. I want to be the win, Masa. Well, you will someday if you try hard enough. Whoosh! Go visit your sister Doreen. This way leads to the Man Machine Chamber. This way leads to the Queen's Audience Chamber. Okay. The Earth is alive and always has been. She changes slowly. You never see, so you can never see it. From the flatlands into the mountains, from the mountains into the seas, away. A way may someday open even to the Forbidden Shrine in the north, or to the Sun Temple, but it can take untold years. If only you knew. None may pass until they return. Okay. Here we go. The prophets are as clouded with hatred and sorrow. If he does not free himself of those emotions, he'll destroy himself and those he loves along with him. Sure. Let's go see the man machine. You know, it's really funny though, these people are just very much, you know, just enthralled with power though. But you know what they say though, if you're enthralled too much with power, you will fall. <laughs> oh, excuse me. Thank you. To the queen's chambers. Well, to the bed chambers. Lady Shala's pendant was made from the same red stone of the man as the man machine. When she prays to the device, the pendant glows with an unearthly light. And ladies and gentlemen, probably my favorite track coming up real soon. I'll let you hear. You know what? Let me mute my mic real quick so you can hear it. Okay, that's enough. The black winds. You feel the foreboding too. Don't worry, it'll be alright. Here, keep this close. What is it? It's an amulet containing my prayers. If it's some, if something should happen, it will keep you safe. I wish I could remain with you always, but Mother has other plans. She looks like her, but she's not the same inside. Even still, forgive me, Janice. Pardon, Your Highness. The Queen requests the Queen requests your immediate presence at the Ocean Palace. Very well. Well then, Janice, I must be on my way. Oh, who might you be? Forgive my lady, but we must hurry. If we're late, well, I fear we'll, you know, you know the Queen.
Don't waste your time. Alphador only likes me. <laughs> kitty, kitty, kitty. Alrighty. Let's go see what's going on, shall we? Oop, wrong place. Recognize that? And they use a different sound effect for this, too. They use a different sound effect. That's weird. Hmm. What's something for about a pendant? The middle door binds us at, at hand. Foot and tongue. You know what? I think this would be a good time to kind of switch everybody out, too. Actually, you know what? I'm going to bring Marl, uh, Nadia. Here we go. Now, made of the same red stone, huh? Well, it may not be made of the same, same red stone, but we can get the aura of it, though. Yes, we can. That glow! That spend of the Guru's made for Lady Shala. How did you come to have that? Mm-hmm. Never heard from him again, huh? You know what? Uh, too much stuff. Let's, keep, let's just keep going. How about that? Anyway, here we go. Up to the chamber we go. And enemies here far exceed the ones that we've faced so far. That is so weird. I don't like the fact that they changed the sound effect to that. We did it. Which draw awaits us next. Recognize the hair? Who are you? How did you get in here? Your Majesty, these are the breakers of disaster I of whom I spoke. Indeed! They and the Gruas alike, how dare the you outlanders attempt to oppose me? Fools! One and all, Dalton see them, sees them. Yes, Your Majesty, with pleasure. Golem! <sighs> now this fight, you can actually win and you can lose too, and the game will still go on. Oh yeah. We got this. Yeah, this fucker hits hard, that's all I gotta say. And he hits fast too, sadly. You know what? I need to work on moral skills too. Get on up. Here we go. Yeah, I got two water got two water users and if I need to. Yep, he hits hard, that's all I gotta say. Uh, MJ's lightning technique. Okay, we're gonna have to haste it up a little bit too because this... I don't want to lose this fight, I really don't. Alright, let's heal first. You gotta do the best you can to try to keep as healthy as you can on this game. Especially on this fight, too, because the golem is a pain in the ass the very first time, because even so, the very first time I fought him, I'll never forget how disappointed I was when I lost. Oh, Chrono needs a high potion, too. Ugh. Yep. Not gonna win this fight. Oh, well. We'll take it as a mulligan. Rematch for later, though. Haha, <laughs> fear not. I won't kill you. Not immediately, that is. I'll allow you to sample to every type of pain and fear imaginable first. By the time we're through, you'll be begging us to end your suffering. What a delicious diversion. And we're being held captive. And here comes Shala. And Janice, too. And, and little Alphador. Idiots, what will you do, Shala? Let us help him. I don't think it'll be of any use, and you'll be in trouble if you let them escape. Don't worry about me, I'll be fine. And they just may be able to rescue Melchior. Yep, the same Melchior that we're talking about, you know, from the beginning of the game. The one who helped, uh, the one who helped actually uh, create, actually the one who created the Massimo. 
quickly must free the palace. And if he can, free the Guru of life. He was sent to the Mountain of Woe for opposing Mother's plan. Please, you must help me. I'm, af I'm afraid I can't allow that. I'm afraid I can't allow that. Your metal tires me. It seems I'll need to put an end to you here. No, you mustn't. <clears throat> don't! Yeah, don't kill yourself. Very well. I'll spare your lives. But in return, you will cooperate. You will cooperate with me, Shala. Now, show it it show me show me how it is you came here. Either I'm having a bad morning or the way they word this kinda just throws me off. Hmm. So you came through here. Now, Shala, once I throw the bin, you will seal the portal shut. Yes, he can. You will obey me. The very lives are at stake. Very well. Alright, guys, get in the portal. Get in the goddamn portal! And Shala being forced to seal it in. Poor girl. Please forgive me. Well, seems to me that we are stuck out of antiquity. Right back into the prehistoric age. Why did the prophet let us go? Hmm. Where is Magus gone? I will not allow him to escape until he is answered for his past. Hey man, the sign from the door, the pendant scene. Oh yeah. It was in the future too. Looks to me like we got a place to go. And look, there's a new there. A curious crest is engraved here, and the mysterious se four seals it shut. Looks to me we got to go into the future. Yes, we do. Alrighty. Let us get there. Alrighty. Back to the end of time real quick. But first, there is something we do, we do need to check out too. How are we going to fare against ourselves? Let's see what Specchio has to say about that. <laughs> what do you want? Looking for some practice? Yes, indeed. Alright. I like this color milk of uh, uh, Specchio. Alright, here we go. Let's see how well we're doing here. Remember, spec yo means mirror. If I look strong, you look you're strong. If I look weak, you're weak. Ice water it is. That's all what we learned. Remember, he is the master of war. Yes, indeed. Ace is gonna come in handy too. I wish it would have came in handy in the fight against the golden though. Oh jeez. You know what? Hang on. Lightning round it is. Okay, Nadia. Stay stay healthy. Stay healthy, young lady. You too. You too, Blue. You too, Chrono. 
Oh, Jesus. Okay. Okay, that, that didn't help. So, you know what? We're just gonna heal it up real quick. Alrighty. Let's stay healthy, everyone. Come on, Glenn. Stay alive, stay alive. It's only water. But he is the master of war, so don't underestimate him. What do you got? What do you got? It shouldn't be too much longer. Water 2. You know what's really funny? I haven't even used Water 2 just yet with uh, Glenn. I think it's the first time I'm actually using it. Go back to Lightning 2 as well. Come on, what do you got? What do you got? Oh! Ain't got nothing left. Oh me, oh my. That was embarrassing. Guess you, uh, ain't so bad after all. Here, this is for you. Choice set. One magic caps on five mid ethers. What can I say? I am the Master of War. Alrighty. Restore to. Okay, now. Hold on. Oh, you've been to the Magic Kingdom. With that pillar of light sealed, you'll be needing to find a way through to move more freely. Should you wish to return. I recall someone working in such a device, the Wings of Time, I believe it was called. Though sadly, I fear the, mind's, the man's mind has left him in the course of long years of research. So, it appears to me that we need to go to the future. Nope, not Medina Village. Let's go back to Protodome. Back to Protodome we go. Okay. Now, now that we're back in the future, we actually have to backtrack a little bit. Okay, let's see. We actually need to backtrack to the original place that we were at. Get through side 32 real quick. Let's just raise Johnny real quick. Okay, now that's over. Now that's over. Okay, now we gotta go through the sewer lines over here. The abandoned sewers. There's plenty of enemies here. Early on, this is actually a really good place to grind a little bit, but you really don't need to do much here, so these guys will be easy. I saw, a I saw a bridge here. I saw it. I swear. What? Got up and walked away. Don't you lie to me. There's nothing here. But it's true. Hey, someone's coming. Hey, let's grab. Ribbit. <laughs> I'm sorry. Like the, mo the only time I could just do the, the do that uh, sound, ribbit. <laughs> it reminds me of the uh, what's the text to a uh, text document that, that sniff. Bark. Bork. Plays a tad bit on the spooky side. You know what? You guys are strong. It'll be okay. Worry not. You'll be fine. Oh, these are always classic. There's a diary here. The final entry reads as aloud. I'm through. I can't take any more of this. The fishman attack it even if I make the slightest noise. If I knew things would be like this, I'd have taken the guillotine any day of the week. I think I'll go out with a good loud scream and see how fog how soggy that freaks that freaks like that. So in other words, don't make a sound. Don't talk to the kitty. Don't kick the can into the, uh, <laughs> to the canister. Don't eat anything. And don't save. Easy spot. You don't even need to fight anybody. Gonna avoid these guys real quick. And... <laughs> 
Dumb and Dumber. Looks like you have to press the switch. The printer can take the cross. Don't switch it on already, ribbit. I can't reach it. Can you call yourself a frog? <laughs> Oh man, I love comedy like that. Make our way through here. And there's Sir Crawley. There's three of them and they're almost here. <clears throat> Watching through the sewers like they own the place, eh? Must be a death wish. We'll teach them a little respect. Yes, we will. <laughs> Let them come up, come through here. They'll be chopped liver, pulverized. Won't even know what to call them when they're done. Yeah, what am I chopped liver too? Because I like chopped liver. <laughs> Look out! <laughs> now, mind you, this dude's just a little mini boss uh, early on in the game, though. This guy is easy. Yeah, he leaves you with one HP after that. Kind of scary in a lot of ways too. If he's, if you can do it with somebody as strong as you can, see, easy as fire. But yeah, he uh, can still, you know, knock you down if you're not paying attention. Never under uh, underestimate your enemies. Never ever ever underestimate your enemies. No, oh, I could not talk today. Never underestimate your enemies. Hit this little switch. Oh shit, what was I doing? Where was that at again? Oh my god, I am I am dead tired today. That's an old, old weapon. That way we can cross by if need be, but I highly doubt we're getting to go through this place again. Highly doubt it. Okay, shelter in place. You know what? We should probably save too. To break the seal. And to the Keeper's Tomb. Oh, and I love this tomb. And look at this new here. It's draining. Oh, it's oh, it's a machine. Please do not disturb my slumber. Here's doesn't work. Well, let's start opening stuff up, shall we? The pendant begins to glow. Hmm. You have opened the door. I am Belthazar, the Guru of Reason, and formerly of the Kingdom of Zeal. I was cast into this era by a great disaster which befell our land. Much to my surprise, I have learned that the creature Lavos was not a product of our age. Far from it. It seems that the being fell from the, from the sky in a bygone age, burrowing deep into the planet's core, where he began to feed upon its energy, growing ever stronger. Yes, he did. And Lavos is considered a parasite. A ginormous parasite. Lavos' form was revealed briefly when he was summoned forth by the mighty wizard by the name of Magus in the year 600. In the year 1999, Lavos emerged to claim the surface. Now he has taken the place I've named Death Mountain as his throne or nest, as it may as it may well be. His miniature spawner now, now flow from the mountaintop, an avalanche of death. Lavos is a parasite, a parasite of gargantuan proportions whose host is the planet itself. Oh, there you go. Trapped here, I endeavor to continue my study and observation of Lavos, but I believe the end draws near. Maintaining one's sanity is an endeavor in and of itself, in an age as it is such as an endeavor. I fear it may be futile. 
and they were futile. So before my mind is lost forever, I have decided to leave these records of my knowledge behind, along with my greatest invention. Ever that I longed to return home and toll endlessly in, in search of my of a way, but I neared the completion of my research, so I near the end of my days. I have grown old and frail, and so I leave it at your hands, those who have opened the way. Take hold the reins of time and let all the people of this planet's past and future join as one. Then, and only then, you must be able to stop Lavos. Indeed. You have little chance of success, but even a little chance is still a chance. You have opened the door, the fate of the world opens is in your hands. Open now the final door and claim what awaits you, my last and greatest work, the wings of time. And, hold on, there's actually a, a tab around here somewhere, where's it at? There's a little capsule around here. Where's it at? Find it real quick. I'll pick it up later. And now that we've got, uh, now that we've got um, uh, Nadia's pendant glowing too, we can actually go back in time and start picking up other stuff too. This must be it. The Wings of Time. Indeed it is. Which... Which end do you suppose is the front? It's a good, it's a good question. <laughs> Look at that. The mechanical new is... Well, it's functional. <laughs> Scared you, didn't I? It's me, Belvisar. I copied my memory into this thing. What do you think? Precious, isn't he? Anyway, there is something I need to explain. Namely, how to transcend time. Press X to display the time gauge, and then select the area you wish to visit. Ah, uh, yes. I like how he just up and falls asleep like that. Before you go, why don't you get my time machine? Why don't you get name my time machine? The Epic. You know what? I like the Epic. Well then, hop aboard. You can actually change the name too later on. You can actually come back to this place and rechange uh, the name. Change the name of the way you want. Let's board the Epic, everybody. Mm, take off. And we can take off. The, oh, and here are the errors too. You got the end of time, the future, the cataclysm, which is 1999, the day of Lavos, present, middle age, antiquity, which is the dark ages, and prehistory, or the prehistoric era. Wherever you decide to go is where you go. And you know what? And when we, uh, when we return, we're going right back to the Middle Ages. Actually, correction. We're going right back to antiquity. But first, I think we're going to pick up some stuff before we leave, too. So I'll see you on the next episode. Much love. Peace. And I will see you in the next episode. Bye-bye.